and that, I think it was around 4,800 people working in the arts. Is that right? 3,800. 481 million, 1 1.6 of GNP. These are things that would blow people's minds, you know, when you start parsing it out for people. We need more of that kind of research. The idea of it feeding into other sectors, it's not just art standing alone, but it crosses over into digital media, new media, and so on. And then the cost, that if these cuts happen, if jobs are lost, the cost of the economy. You need brand. And in this case, commercial brands generally, it's all about smoke and mirrors. You know, you go in, you buy Nike shoes, they cost a couple of dollars to make, you're paying for the meaning in their brand, an extra 50, 60, 70 euros. With you, it's about substance, it's not about smoke and mirrors. You have something really important. The brand will, will unite, we need something to bring people together. I often think about it as a flag, as a group of people milling around. You raise a flag that says something, people say, I believe that, and they move towards your brand. And it gives people a sense of ownership. Brand becomes a short term for history. When you use it long enough, and, and consistently enough, and articulately enough, you don't have to rehearse all the arguments again. It's like it's all summed up in people's heads. I talk about an always on campaign. This is not a campaign that should run for a week and then you, go, you take off and you come back a, a year later when everyone's forgotten it. This is about how do ordinary folk or the people who you're trying to influence, the political establishment, <coughs> the influencers, how do they come across, stumble across, hear about, participate in this campaign? And you have to create settings, tools, events, platforms, a conference, a seminar, Myrna Street talking, um, a whole range of activities that would bring that, make that happen. See that, I just summarized all that in that sentence, isn't that amazing? <laughs> Surprise and delight. So if I come say in a setting that the arts should be supported because they're important to who I am as an Irish person, everyone will go and go to sleep. Um, if Brian O'Driscoll says it, People go, Jesus, how did he know that? And <laughs> funding and capacity, you're all going, no, not funding. But you have a responsibility to find the resources to do this. You will need resources to do it. And, and the reality is that there are small NGOs, charities, raising significant resources all the time because they pay attention to it and they get really good at it. The arts need to get good at it. This is an interesting one, just very quickly, in that this is, a, this is a, an example of an integrated campaign. So here you have a poster, you have a, a press pack, which tells anyone what they would need to know about cystic fibrosis, particularly the media, if they're writing a feature on it. Um, but that was targeted at, obviously, the HFC and decision makers, but it was also targeted at people who were suffering from cystic fibrosis, to say, you know, you have such a legitimate complaint here, and it was almost like giving people permission to speak, and it all opened out onto the airways through a PR campaign onto Joe Duffy and so on, and had a huge, huge effect. You need to obviously evaluate, look at what you're doing, what went right, what went wrong, learn from it. Uh, it's all about what works. You, you say thanks when you win something. We always forget it's the most adversive thing you can do. It disarms everybody. Plus, you'll be coming back. You'll be looking for more. And it's kind of a ritual of celebration. Okay, I'm going to finish now. Tanya, don't worry. Um, I'm just imagining what a campaign might look like. I just did this uh, on the train coming down. So, you need a brand. Okay. I'd reject it if you came to me with it. But it's kind of getting there, right? <laughs> Brendan Gleeson is going to be a champion. He's going to be back on the art show. By that stage, Tanya will be presenting, so it'll be a lot easier. <laughs> um, but you're going to have champions like him, who, who, and you, you have recruited them. You have been strategic about it. They're beyond the airwaves. You have done so much work on this that Atlantic Philanthropies will seek you out and say, We want to give you 2 million euros over five years, will you take it? They say, okay, maybe. 
<laughs> Mock lesson groups all over the country will be running parades, not on themes locally, but they'll decide it's important enough. We're going to do parades on the value of the arts. You'll be in school settings, in other school settings, in youth clubs, in youth projects. And the Irish Bank will be all clean. <laughs> And to increase that cleanliness, they want to sponsor the National Valley of the Arts Week and they'll come to Theatre Forum and say, will you take our money? And Theatre Forum will say, okay. <laughs> Fall to Ireland are fed up of the stag parties and the sightseeing tourism, so they're going to go, on, go into insight tourism. So they'll be marketing Ireland abroad. When you talk all the tourism reports, when you talk to tourists come to Ireland, why do they come? Culture, crack. Friendliness, they're always there. Culture is always high on the list. What is this country doing to support living culture, not a kind of a museum based culture? There will be 10 incredible short films which will be played before features in all the cinemas all over the country. There will be three minute, brilliant, hilarious, convincing, persuasive movies which will have come out of the movie industry as part of all this. Guinness. Diageo, sorry, will produce a new blend, a darker, richer blend of Guinness, which is steeped in culture, and they're going to call it James's Choice after a great writer. And they're going to feel so guilty about it. You'll accept that one, will you? They're going to feel so guilty about it that they're going to give us five cents on every pint they sell. There's going to be one cent for every person in the country for the arts scheme, but by that time, there'll be so much support for it that everybody will say, yes, we'd love to do that, yeah, sure. There will be outdoor exhibitions, indoor exhibitions, street art. There'll be happenings all over the place. There'll be better brands than the first one you saw. And... In clubs, in youth clubs, in youth projects all over the country, touring almost everywhere. And the new minister, sorry, you might be the new minister, he'll be on questions and answers. Or maybe he'll be chair of the Arts Council, I'm not sure. But sorry, the new minister for arts, culture, sport, and tourism <laughs> will probably say, I'm like, no, I don't about that, some kind of before. Are you about it now? <laughs> Thank you.